On Friday, March 13th of 2020, everyone at school cheered at our lockers as we grabbed our jackets and books to go home, thinking we had an extra week of spring break. Ironic that Friday the 13th would end up being our last day of school for the year. Once May rolled around and we found out Corona wasn't going anywhere and quarantine was here to stay, I decided I wasn't going to let the rest of the year end up like spring break. So I wrote a bucket list that could be completed while being socially distanced, without going inside any buildings, and without spending any money. I saw the sunrise at the beach. had a picnic on the side of a cliff with one of my closest friends. I went to my first drive-in movie. My best friend and I set up tents in the backyard and watched movies on my projector. We managed to cross three things off the list by roasting some marshmallows too. We rode bikes through town. <laughs> I listened to records in the middle of the night. I finished three books I actually chose to read and wrote some of my own short stories. I also tried to become a better artist and attempted to get better at playing guitar. We went hiking and swam in huge lakes that stretched for miles. Corona didn't go away this year and our school year certainly doesn't look normal. But in an attempt to be optimistic, my friends and I managed to go on adventures of all kinds. We saw the sun peeking over the ocean at 6 a.m. and city lights glowing from miles away. Although I didn't get to go on the vacation we had planned or work at my usual summer job, I think this was one of my best summers yet, and the year as a whole wasn't too bad. At the end of the day, the sun is still yellow, the sky is still blue, and every morning a palette of pinks, oranges, golds, and purples paint the world around us, for an hour or so until the world wakes up and continues moving through life one step at a time. <laughs>